Hello everyone, this is Pandir SS, working as an assistant professor at the Department of Physics, Ketechum College, Nasi. Today, we have to going to discuss SYBSC paper 2nd semester 3 instrumentation. Today, we have to cover up the first topic of fundamental of measurement system and cover up the subtopic of classification of error in measurement system. So first topic is the fundamental of measurement. So what is the error? So error it is nothing but a, a difference between true value and measurement. So error is given to the a difference between a actual value and your observed value. So Error of measurement system is defined as the algebraic difference between true or actual value or standard value and the measured value or observed value that is the known as the error. So error is defined as a mathematical expression. Error is equal to measured value or observed value minus or subtract from true value or standard value or actual value. So that is the error. So error never measurement can made with perfect accuracy and measurement. So when we a measure any input and you will get the desired output. So that never happen. So there will be there you won't get perfect accuracy and research. When measurement process is going on of certain parameters affects like as atmospheric condition, limitation of device and food. So that's why never get the perfect accuracy and procedure of the measurement system. So that's why never measurement can be made with perfect accuracy and precision because of the, these different parameters affect on that. So you will generate the some minor error in every measurement of the measurement system. Error to get the required accuracy and procedure. So when we require accuracy and procedure then we have to require minimize the error and uncertainty of the measurement system. So if every time generates the error in the observation or measurement so we have to require to minimize or reduce the error or uncertainties of the measurement system. Then you will minimize or reduce the error. For desired accuracy, for required accuracy, we have to require some error detection and correction techniques in measurement system. So we have to require error detection and correction technique for your desired output or required output in major main system. So we have to use some different statistical techniques, some data analysis techniques, some curve fitting techniques are used. It is important to find that actual accuracy and different type of it is important to find the actual accuracy and different types of error can be occurred in in measurement system. So error error you will get the perfect accuracy and different types of errors can be occurred in measurement. So next one is the classification of error. Error may be arise 
from different sources and usually classified as false. So errors are generated from the different sources. So like as a surrounding events, human-made error, instruments error. So what type of source generates the error? So these are the classification of error based on what type of source generates the error and it categorizes the error. Error is classified by mainly into two ways. First one is the random error and static error. It is also one type is the gross error. And again systematic error is divided into three categories. First one is observational, second one is environmental and third one is the instrument. So these are the types is depending on the system which depend on the most of the instruments. So that is the classification of error which depend on the what type of source that is the error which gives the classification of systematic error, random error and gross So starting with gross error it is also known as the experimental or physical error, which gives the manual errors in reading instruments or recording or calculating measurements results are known as gross error. So gross error is calculated. The gross error is partly systematic or partly random. So it acts as a both gross error. So sources of error in gross error are faulty instrument, extreme vibration, mechanical shocks, electrical noise, and etc. These are the sources of error or sources of error generating in a gross. Now this type of error will happen throughout the experiment due to human oversight, other mistakes while reading and recording and reading. These errors can be prevented by a couple of actions, precaution, reading and recording of data. When we put in the observations or taking the readings for any instrument. So we have to take care or take the precaution. And we have to take a multiple readings. Taking the multiple readings by different operators. So we have to taking the readings, readings multiple readings by using different users, operators. Now second type of error is the random data. It is also known as uncertainty error. It cues by random variation and fluctuation from true value of measurement system is known as random. So it is a random variation and fluctuation from a desired value of a measurement system is known as random. After calculating all systematic errors, it is found that there is still some error in measurement array. So these errors are known as So if you are get the desired output or there is some by calculating some systematic error, but some errors are some errors are generated or reflected in a Output desired output. So that error is known as the random error. So these error caused by such effect as a friction, spring hysteresis, noise and drift, and etc. So these parameters affects the desired output and there is gen generates the error. So that is the random. So random error cannot normally be predicted or corrected. So random error cannot be easily predicted and uh, detected and corrected easily. So this type of error is minimized by 
the repeating of measurements apply statistical tools to get the closer value to the truth so this type of error is minimized by using a repeated observation or readings of measurement systems and we have to apply statistical tools for the that observation and readings to get the closer value to the true value now next type of error is the systematic error a systematic error generates due to faulty measurement practice or faulty instrument or personal so these three parameters are affects your systematic error it is the mostly depending on the instrument so this type of error cannot be minimized or reduced by repeated method. so this systematic error we cannot be minimized or reduced by a repeated measurement repeated observation or repeated readings so the errors which occur due to changing environment condition instrumental reason, reasons or wrong observations so the systematic types of error are classified again into three sub types which generally categorized into three types which are explained in detail in detail first one is the observational error second one is the environmental error and third one is the instrumental error so first one is the instrumental error the error may be due to wrong construction calibration of the measurement instrument this type of error may arise due to friction or may be due to disturbances this type of error are also include the loading effect and misuse of the instrument misuse of the instrument results in the failure to the accuracy of the instrument in order to minimize the gross error in measurement various correction factors must be applied to extreme condition instrument must be recalibrated care so instrumental errors mostly generated due to some problem in a instrument like as a faulty instrument then unbalanced instrument then uh, there is small drift in instrument then there some fluctuation in the out or fluctuation then installation of instrument so these are the some factors are generated as the error so that is the known as the instrumental error second one is the environmental error this type of error arises due to external conditions to the instrument when the some external parameters or surrounding parameters affects the instruments and generates the error that error is known as the environmental error so external condition uh, condition external condition includes temperature pressure humidity or it may be include external magnetic or electric field following are the steps one most follow in order to minimize the environmental error try to maintain the temperature and humidity of the laboratory constant making some adjustments and ensure the there should not any external magnetic or electrostatic field around that so environmental errors are generated due to atmospheric conditions 
like as a temperature, humidity, moisture, and external electrostatic and magnetic field, which affects their performance of the instruments. So there is generates the air. So that error is due to a environmental changes or environmental condition changes. So that's why that error is known as the environmental error. Now next error is the observational error. As the name suggests, these type of errors are due to wrong observations, a wrong reading, a wrong observations. So these are errors generated due to taking wrong readings, wrong observations and wrong measurements. So that errors is known as observational error. So wrong observation may be due to parallax. So what is the parallax? So there, there is the between two parameters are the measurement. So then generates the error that is the number of the parallax. In order to minimize the parallax error, highly accurate meters are required and provided with a mirror. So that parallax error we have to minimize by using a very highly accurate meters are required and provided with a mirror. So observation errors is minimized by you have to take very sharply or very precisely taking the readings or observation of the instrument then we have to minimize the observation error as well as we have to use taking a multiple observations and multiple readings and you have to use some statistical tools and you have to minimize the error. So you have to minimize the observational. Thank you.